I'm starting off with absolutely no product here. As you guys can see, I'm putting the foam all over my head. I'm using just enough to cover my entire head. So this is what it looks like after I've put only the mousse in it. I just take this stuff and put it on my edges and then I'm gonna show you where else I put it. But like in the beginning, I just put it on my edges or whatever. It's usually wet. When it's wet, it's slippery. So you gotta make sure your fingers or your hands are dry every time you put your hand back in here. So I just put it on my edges or whatever. Like I have it in one finger and then I just sculpt it with the other finger. If I need more, I'll just put it on there. But right now I'm just doing my edges. Now I mean I just in the front I just fix like the the um curls just put them in place a little bit if anything. So you know it looks wavy, it's cute. And even this part because sometimes it looks weird if it's all this straight so I just do it like that. And then every time you reach back in, like you need to make sure your hands are dry. So what I do next is like get a whole bunch. <laughs> like that much. And I'll just like wipe it around my head like this in a circular motion so that it gets, it stays curly, but that it gets all, the, all in my hair. And just do that. And then I just go back around like after I don't have not, like a lot on my fingers, I just go back in and curl it more. Just so, you know, the curls look pretty. Cause they be curling up, but I make sure it's, I try to keep it even y'all because this is better even. It, it'll look prettier. So I gotta wipe off my hand and then I get another big scoop. And you know, I had to buy like a whole bunch of this because it runs out so quickly. So I just got some more and I'm just wiping it around. Like gently, don't do it too hard because it, it'll stick quick. Like, it'll get really sticky. And as y'all can see, like my hair is like really growing so fast. It's ridiculous how fast it's growing. All right, y'all. So this is the last thing that I put on my hair and it's Gorilla Glue and it's the purple one. If you go to Walmart, you can get it. I like this stuff because like y'all, it's humid as fuck out here. So when I go outside, if I just put this on my hair, my curls will start coming up. It made me look crazy. So I just use this a little bit, but you have to be light with this stuff because it'll have you like toe up. Like it, you don't want it to leave white marks or, so like where all the places I went in the front and I just put like a little bit, you know, just, just a little bit, but um, I just put it on my edges in the front because those are the parts that stick up the most when the humidity does hit me. And when I'm putting on makeup, I just want it to stay down. So, put that on the front. So just a little bit, don't need too much. All right, now, after that, I put just this much on my finger, and I rub it like this, and then the front, I just go around and like barely touch it, but I'm touching it. I just barely, y'all, barely. Just enough to where it can lay down and stay down. 
because the other products that I use, the mousse and the edge control, is not gonna make it stay down for the whole day. So I just got like a regular black scarf and I'm gonna tie it around my head. I'm gonna tie it around tight enough to where it's not hurting me, but tight enough to where my hair is like flat all the way around. And see, these are this is one, and this is one that I'm pulling tight, but this part, I'm pulling that to make the back flat. And just pull that, tighten it a little bit more. And then I'm ready for bed. And I will show you guys in the morning what it looks like. I usually do it at night. Um, it's easier for me to do it at night and wake up in the morning. I know it's going to look good. I know it's going to be dry. I know it's going to be flat. But, I mean, if you give yourself like a, a two hours at least, I would say maybe one hour if you could blow the blow dryer around it. Like if you're in a rush or whatever. Like if you're going to do this and you, you know. I would say at least give yourself one to two hours and make sure you blow it dry it all dry before you take this out because if you take it off too early you're gonna have white spots it's gonna be pulling your hair up so you just need to like let it dry okay all the way so I'll see you guys in the morning all right guys so it's in the morning and I'm taking my wrap off my head so you guys can see what my hair looks like after I've been sleeping on it all night <laughs> I even sound like morning but I have brushed my teeth y'all after the whole nine. So this is what it looks like. And I'm telling you, if you let it dry, it should come off easy because it's all the way dry. And y'all, you don't have to use this. It's just what I use to make it all kind of even around. So I just spray like this far away. Just enough so it can be shiny all the way around. That's it. That is what I do to keep my hair like this. If you guys have any questions about what I did, let me know in the comment section below. All of the products that I used in here, although I showed them on camera, they'll also be in the description box. I just have to shout out my subscribers because I'm so appreciative of you guys. You guys are so supportive and I really appreciate that. Put a thumbs up on this video if you liked it or you feel like it was useful. To my current subscribers and new subscribers because you guys are just that awesome. Um, once you click the subscribe button, make sure you click the the bell next to it so that you can get notifications for whenever I put up videos. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video.